Hope spiders are here. Oh shit. For the attack the spiders. Ooh, oh, he's poisoned. Well, at least Corrin's poisoned. We're doing it. okay. Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome to Ember. Ember is a bit of an homage to the 1990s style isometric top down RPGs. This is something that I used to play a bunch before I like had PC or console because I was actually PC prior to console and back to PC and uh, let's just jump into it shall we we are the light bringer well today we are the light taker take here actually yeah we're the light take here so let's get through some of the uh a world of peace mystical magic has lived in harmony until one fateful night when the sky lit up Embers rained from the heavens. Millions beyond count fell to the ground, their fiery tails and gleaming crystal slamming into the earth for what felt like eons. The people of Domus hid, fearing this terrible omen, but one race, whose curiosity knew no bounds, ventured forth. The Lightbringers felt the magic contained in these stones. The more they studied, the greater these fallen embers seemed. They were more than just beautiful. They were alive. And so a special bond was formed between the Lightbringers and their magical companions, the Embers. A bond so true, no other race could replicate it. Jealousy grew, and it led to war. Wow! That was, a uh, quite a jump. The dwarves mined for Ember, digging deep into the earth where they had landed and hoarding all they could find. They sold them to eager elves and men who drained them of their life force, using their magical power for selfish gain and wearing the spent stones as jewelry and trinkets. They're Many corpses. The embers were even alive and sought their beauty and the energy within. But not all. The monks of Radiance remembered the old ways, remembered the Lightbringer teachings, and sought to save the embers from their terrible fate. For the embers had become part of Domus in more ways than one, and their dwindling numbers and looming extinction might herald doom for all. But the monks could not do this alone. To save the embers, they would need those who knew their secrets. They would need to awaken the greatest Lightbringer Domus had ever known. That's actually kind of an interesting little backstory there. The ritual should have worked! <gasps> <laughs> no. Th 20, 250. God, 2500 years. Big old fart right as you wake up. That's not true. It could have been a belch. Help me. Or it could have been an electric. So, like I said, isometric RPG clicks, walk around. And uh, check this. Go up. Gold coins. Alright. Talk to Corin. Oh! The ritual worked! Oh! I, I, I should not be surprised. I'm going to multiply my devotions to the goddess as soon as we get back. Now then, we need to find our way out of the world as quickly as possible. There are many horrors here. There is something unholy about this place. We need to depart quickly. You, you'd best be armed. May I give you a sword, a bow, or a magic wand? Let's. I, I'm feeling bow. I feel like I always like the kind of finesse players. Cool. Where are we headed? To the monks in Radiance, the head monk in Sirima. He'll explain everything. I locked this crypt behind me with this key to discourage thieves. Would you please unlock the door? I hope some Let's of leave thieves left. Or thin their own ranks for us. Hmm. Interesting. So this has a very interesting little trick to it, which is the space bar pauses everything. Sort of a la Kotar. And uh, the idea that I would argue with is that it allows you to create really good bits of strategy mid-fight. And I think this kind of play style works really well for me personally like we tend to do significantly more actiony rpgs and so my favorite type of rpg tends to be a top-down action like with a controller rather than with a keyboard 
but there's something very cool about these still because of this. Freeze, and then keep going. Ooh, a ruby. Gold nugget, gold nugget, skeleton, strange key, gold coins. I'll take all those. Check it, bear pelt. Red apple, lesser. Corin's journal. I leave this travel journal for my sister Cora in case I die in this cursed place. Hey, we read NPC journals like that all the time. What? How would his sister find this? That's the thing I get. How do they think they would even figure out who this was or how to get this journal back? All right, let's get this door open. Please Hello? let them be gone. Please let them be gone. Hello. Locked chest. Oh, the strange key must have opened that. Oh, and we got an amber. Damn. Combat. All right, so I've done a little bit of combat beforehand. Now, this is something that I think is kind of sick about the combat. Now, I have bows, right? Just shut up. Do what I tell you. Huh. Oh, sweet animation for the door. So you enter it. Like Takir! So Corin has a sword, right? So I'm gonna have Corin take the lead, and Light Takir is uh, we're gonna back off real quick. And we come back, and then we start firing into this first thief. He is now dead, we move on to the next thief. Hits, final thief. So Corin's taking the brunt of all this. Thanks, Corin, you just summoned me back from non existence. Short bow, ragged hide armor. Okay, so we have some actual armor and the like now. Crude wooden bugler, bugler, buckler. It's a bugler. Quick saves. I miss quick saves. We've been doing survival so much with Fallout 4. All right, so we have ourselves a journal. And we have the light tick here. So here we go, we got some of our ancient rags, which is our current set of armor. So if I go up to armor, nice. Ragged hide armor, upgrade that. It looks a little bit better. Short bow. It's about as good as my current short bow. We could also do a crude copper dagger. Gotcha. This is kind of cool how it's like, choose a bow, you're going to be a ranged character. Choose a sword, you're going to be a sword character. But I bet you can like change that up as you're running around through this place. But all right, we got ourselves a little bit more armor and that kind of thing. Some potions, some food. Uh, it's possible that this guy is going to be needing to eat pretty soon. Let's see, can I open this door? Oh, it's locked. A guide to getting dressed. <laughs> How did you get in here? You didn't put on shoes? Pretty interesting things to be... Oh, are we leaving? I didn't want to leave. Hold on, let's go back. I'm not done with this place yet. Nope, nope, all the way back. Kind of loading zones are pretty quick. I was uh, honestly kind of surprised about that. All right, so I can click and drag the screen too. So if I want to start shooting this dude. Boop, Corin. Corin, I made a mistake and started running in before you. Now Corn goes in. Oh, boy. Boop. I'm just kidding. Boop. Oh. Hari, okay, we now team up, fire at the same wolf. Perfect. Nice. That is like free wolf scream. Like, I haven't heard that wolf scream. That's like a Wilhelm scream, but for dogs. <laughs> See, this is one thing that I do think is kind of cool about these types of designs, is that if I want to get somewhere, like, see how I click out here? The game knows that there's a door here, but if I click over here, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And I think that's kind of an interesting game mechanic, because you can kind of figure your way out without having too much trouble. Geron. I can't stop the bleeding! I had no idea that there were thieves down here. My job was just to come here and scout the area for altars. Rail and Radiance told me to return if I found any. No, I don't think I'll go on anywhere. Sorry, Jaren. Anything uh, nice for us to pick up? So whatever reason, I can't kill the rat. Eh. It's actually, it's almost like a joke in a lot of these games that there's rats around, and at some of them you can actually see people kill the rats. Not uh, not all of them though. Oh, now we have a Sherpo here too. Oh, wow. Let's just take everything. It's like all this stuff <laughs> is for like a god that lives down here. We're just like, nah, 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 nah. But I guess we're kind of like a god, the light bringer. All right, we got a crude wooden bow, which is actually better than our short bow. So we're gonna take that, do a quick little switch. That's nice. 20 to 24, average damage to 24. That's actually pretty cool that they've got that average damage bit right there. Ah, that's interesting. All right, he definitely needs to eat. Would you like an apple? How about another? That's not a lot. Uh, how about some cheese? Also not a lot. How about some rolls? Rolls apparently are super healthy. That's interesting. 
Alright, now that we're out here, let's see. Looking around. Oh. Hey, you're alive, Steven! Riven is a wolf. Oh, that's awesome. Who's there? Have you come to watch me die? I don't think you'll be waiting long. Oh. How were you injured? Do you wish me to end your suffering? Jesus Christ, what character are we playing? I work for Johan, down here to do some grave robbing, so we're so we thought. Always on the lookout for those shiny embers of ancient armor. But we got more than we bargained for. How are you injured? Why are you even down here? Oh, wow, we have to ask the I have no time for this. Not for me, no. Poison's just about done its work. Arg! But my dog, Riven, he fought so bravely for me. Killed the last spider, but it poisoned him. It's driving him insane. Could you put him out of his misery? He deserves more than becoming just another monster. Sure, if that is your wish. So now we have to kill the dog. Sorry, Riven. Wow, that's actually... That's like somewhat of a dark... I was really hoping we'd get the dog. It's like, but now we're gonna just pick up all these gold coins, I guess, if, if we have to. Oh, we got Riven's pelt. I wonder if we can like make some cool armor with that. Well, of course, like any fantasy top-down RPG, there are rats that you could run around and step on. And then there are spiders. There's actually a lot of stuff to look around at. This is kind of, I'm very excited. This is get, giving me that like feeling of base of speed. Ooh. This is giving me this feeling of joy that I used to get when playing a lot of early games when I was younger. I think I must have just something about nostalgia to this. Special buttons appear under health. You can pause a cube abilities and unpause. Wooden chest empty. Boy, I getting involved. Oh, more thievery. More thievery. Backing off. All right, Corin. It's all you, bro. All right, now I'm going to help out with that thief, too. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's related to... I love how we did this parry. Or parry, I guess. Uh, I guess it's related to when I was younger. Like, there's such a nostalgic feeling to playing a game like this. But I also think it's, like, I love fantasy, right? And one of the big things we've been doing on the channel is a lot of Fallout. There's a lot less fantasy than uh, typical. You know, I always thought that was kind of interesting, like how some people prefer like post-apocalyptic, or some people prefer fantasy and things. All right, the giant spiders look worse, so we're gonna go for the spiders. All right, and Corin, I want you to wait back there for a second. All right, now we're gonna go for that spider. Corin, you're gonna go for that thief. Apparently, uh, I was blocking the, <laughs> blocking Corin. Spider silk, more thievery, interesting. Quick save, god I love being able to quick save. Wow, look at how big this map is too. We've got a lot to explore in here. Got a bedroll, gotta do a good night's rest. Interesting, pick up the bedroll and this pedestal will be added to the other filter in your inventory. Store health and energy and possibly an XP boost. Interesting, if you click the time of day display. That's really cool. So they added that as a mechanic, the ability to rest. I like that. All right, we got Someone some more thieves. This loop. Agreed, mate. I like their voice acting. It's very like silly. Also, for this monk, is just attacking the first thing. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to get Corrin to back off to this guy, and we're going to get our light taker. Oh, spiders are here. Nope. Nope, everybody runs. Everybody backs off. Nope, we, we want to... Oh, shit. For this, attack the spiders. Ooh, oh, he's poisoned. Well, at least Corrin's poisoned. We're doing okay. Perfect. How you feeling, dude? Shall need to sharpen my blade after that tussle. Seems okay. Still level one. Our guy looks really cool, but he definitely has that feeling of like, you don't know if he's a dude. Or he looks like a man, actually, I would argue. But it could be a beautiful woman underneath this. You know, one thing that I appreciate that this game it does not have, a quality of the weapon system. So, you know, like weapons slowly break down and lose durability. I like games that just like throw that out. Ooh, this is pretty cool. We should give him the mace of speed. Because I've always found like this feeling that whenever a game included that, it always felt a little bit... I would, I would go with the word that like unneeded. It's a video game. Like I'm, I'm not here to have to be like stuck on, you know, oh, I need to make sure that this is full, you know, perfect levels of durability or whatnot in high enough condition. Wow, we got a bunch of dogs in there. All right, we're gonna get Corin first. All right, Corin. That's not Corin. Can I not give Corin direct commands? 
like where to move. No, it doesn't seem like I can give him direct commands. Oh, there he goes with the mace. Let's get this dog now. All right. Oh man, Corin's kicking ass. Look at him go. Well done, Corin. I'm impressed. I love how they have just the wolf like meats all over the place. Short bow, ragged hide, mead. Nice. Oh god! Wow, that spider totally like the way. See, that was that's something that's funny about these types of games. You don't know where like people are coming from, so that like spider came down, scared me. I thought it was landing on me, but it was like, oh no, it's fine. It's landing on the other guy. Ooh, cleaver. So all things about this game, actually, I actually picked this game up um, as it was sent to me through a PR channel. And uh, they were saying, hey, if you're gonna play this game, make sure you, you know, like you hit on a couple points. So I'm gonna hit on those points right now. It's 10 bucks. It's got 30 plus hours of content, which is pretty damn impressive for a $10 game. Uh, I'm having a good time so far with this because this feels like very much down my roleplay e aspect kind of thing that I like to do. This spider is actually a thief, as you can see. And a game like this, I've just not seen in a long time. And it's, you know, it's like, hey, of course I'll play one of these. I loved these types of games before. Do not touch the book. Whoa, okay. We're not gonna not touch the touch book quite book. yet. Oh, he has double strike. Oh, that's a special ability. I get it now. Let's see, what does Mead do? Oh, that's energy. Gotcha. So that'll be more for his uh, like special it strikes and stuff. God, I remember playing these with my friends and we would just spend so much time hitting every single tiny nook and cranny of any of these maps. This totally has that exact same feeling to me. Get him. Yeah, Cor, I love the way he just comes charging in like that now. I'm gonna give him some, uh, a, a lesser health potion. Apparently, rolls are better than lesser health. Oh, you only got a certain... T that's interesting mechanic. Ow, I'm not used to being the one targeted. Let's try this double strike real quick. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Takes a little bit of energy. Yes, it does. Crude wooden great shield. So we do actually have an inventory, uh, like a max one. But uh, at the moment, I'm just taking up everything because it's so early on in the game, you're like, eh, whatever. Which that's something that I also find kind of interesting. Like, I'm cool with inventory limits. However, I always struggle with them in like Bethesda and Skyrim and games like this too. I always tend to struggle with them as well. Take my book. He was never Oligar's friend. Hello. Oligar should have never left library. Hello? Who and what are you? Why are you so angry? I do not want to talk to you, then I will leave you be. Well, let me just pillage all the dead people uh, around you. like rotten fish. That's because he has rotten fish out here. I love how this... <laughs> you can click the drum. Can I cook? You can in fact cook? Okay, uh, cook. Flavorless fish steaks. Come on, they're not that bad. Uh, That's pretty cool. I like that they have that cooking element there. It's not a bad way to share that. And also, it definitely gives us like a little bit of an understanding that there's probably going to be a lot more forms of crafting that are going to happen too. Yeah. Holy crap! All right, uh, we're definitely going to shoot the spiders first. All right, Corin, we'll just click his double strike. Go for the spider. Right, next giant spider. Cool. Now we go for the wolf. I like this kind of mechanic of fighting multiple like opponents, but it's a free for all kind of thing. Like that's kind of I like that. It's a little different, a little bit more like interesting. Whenever we run into a fight, it's not just like oh, okay, I gotta fight everyone. It's like now it's a bit more strategic. Where I'm scared of the spiders, so let's get everybody in on the spider. Then we can all turn on each other after the fact. Thank you so much for watching. It was a joy to have you here. Stick around for a little bit and see what's coming up next episode. And of course, make sure rise to meet your feet. Wind always be at your back and the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye. I, I really want to touch the book and I have the ability to save before touching the book. We're touching it. You have received one vitality. Oh, God. <laughs>